Pooja Kuli, along with my partner, Dr. Sindhu Umesh Madam, will be coordinating the most important topic, whose difficulties are faced by almost every obstetrician that is delivering fetal head during C-section and troubleshoots by Dr. Shailendra Kattamdon, sir. <coughs> Welcome you all on this third webinar of OBGY Bonanza series on behalf of Nima OBGY Society Central. We have already seen how much theoretical and practical knowledge we have gained from the earlier two webinars. This is an excellent initiative taken by Nima OBGY Society Central to bring forward such webinars with excellent topics from most reputed and excellent speakers. Now, Nima OBGY, that is National Integrated Medical Association, Obstetrics and Gynecology India, aims to impact education, supporting and protecting the character status and interest of the integrated medical profession. Its objective is to spread knowledge and to foster education in integrated obstetrics and gynecology, to encourage and participate study in and research in field of obstetrics and gynecology, to promote services for the betterment of health and community, maternal and child health, to organize and participate in field camps, to carry out surveillance and specific research projects, etc., etc., and many more like this. Before going towards our session, I would like to give a very few instructions to all the delegates. Please keep yourself muted during the session. If your mic is found disturbing, interfering speaker, you will be either kept in waiting room or removed from the session to maintain the decorum of the program and to avoid the disrespect of our honor honorable speaker. And lastly, at the end of the session, put your question in chat box or raise your hands. Now, moving towards our session, before starting, I would like to do Dhanvantari Stavan with due permission from all the dignitaries present here. Om Namo Bhagavate Mahasudarshanai Vasudevai Dhanvantarai Amrut Kalasha Hastaya Sarva Bhaya Vinashaya Sarva Roga Nivaranaya Trilok Pataya Trilok Nataya Shri Mahavishnu Swarupa Shri Dhanvantari Swarupa Shri 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 Aushad Chakra Narayanaya Namaha Now let me give you introduction of the topic which we are going to do. Caesarean section rate has been on rise. It is commonly perceived as a simple and safe alternative to vaginal birth. One of the major advantages of C-section delivery is that the fetal injury through birth canal is eliminated and controlled delivery of baby under direct vision is accomplished. However, there are situations during C-section where delivery of fetus may be difficult. This may cause maternal and fetal complications. There are situations in which delivery of fetus is not smooth and difficult or traumatic delivery would defeat the very purpose of C-section. To avoid such mishaps, anticipations of potential difficulties and planning in advance can be fruitful. Hence, we have came forward with this topic and we have honored to have Dr. Shailendra Katakdon sir as our guest speaker. We also welcome all the dignitaries present here today. Dr. Vinayak Tembulnikar, sir, President Nima Central. Dr. U.S. Pandey, sir, Secretary Nima Central. Dr. Ashtosh Kulkarni, sir, Treasurer Nima Central. I would also like to welcome Dr. Kamini Dhiman, ma'am, President Nima OBGY. Dr. Priyanka Nakade, ma'am, Secretary in Nima OBGY, and Dr. Vishnu Bhavane, sir, Treasurer of Nima OBGY. We welcome all the delegates present here today for this session. Before starting, let's take a moment to introduce our guest top speaker, Dr. Shailendra Katakdon, sir. I would invite Dr. Sindhu, madam, to give a brief introduction about, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Dr. Pooja. Myself, Dr. Sindhu Omesh, really am privileged to co-host this particular third webinar of the Bonanza series. And it is my privilege to introduce today's guest, Dr. Shailendra D. Katot, sir, 
on behalf of Nima OBGY Society Central. Sir is Professor and HOD of College Vasanthrao Patel Ayurvedic Medical College Sangli Maharashtra and graduated from Ayurvedic Government Ayurvedic Medical College Nanded Maharashtra. Sir pursued his post graduation in PTSR in the same college and presently now pursuing his PhD studies in the same college. There are more than five international publications in his name. Sir also has national publications more than 10. He's a resource person of ROTP and various national and international seminars. Sir also excels in academic facet with his teaching experience of more than 21 years. And Sir is outstanding Ayurvedic surgeon to perform various open and laparoscopic surgeries throughout the year. He expertises in the field of post-operative and post-labor Ayurveda protocols and effectively been practicing since 20 years. So friends, sit back and get up with a wave of zeal to hear to Sir's talk. Sir, now we invite you for the most awaited talk and now it's over to you, Sir. Thank you. I would like to say thanks to Dr. Shailendra Katakdon, sir. He is one of the renowned and uh, very experienced one uh, in his surgical fields also and uh, academics also. So uh, welcome you, Dr. Shailendra, sir. Thank you, madam. Oh, am I audi audible? Yeah, yeah, you are. Yes, voice sir. Is, yeah, yeah, voice is clear. Yes, yeah. sir. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. First, I would like to say thanks to Nima OBGY for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Uh, see, today is 26-11. Uh, we have 14 years back, we had very bad experience. Some militants were attacked in Bombay. So that Friday is called as a Black Friday. So, what is the policy? So, so I am I am paying my tribute to all the martyrs who were put down put down their lives on twenty six eleven. But today, uh, today again, it is important that our constitution in twenty six uh, no in twenty six November. Uh, 19 for, 1949, we accepted our constitution. So today is the Indian Constitution Day. So I would like to invite you all for my today's talk. I would like like to say thanks to the man, Madam. Uh, she is the president of Nima Obijay Nakade, Madam. She is secretary and Dr. Bawani, sir. And I would like to welcome all the dignitaries, all the senior persons who are here to listen this workshop. So I'm going to present my topic. My topic is delivering fetal head during C-section and troubleshoots. See, I would like to share one experience. <clears throat> uh, I, I was working in Savantwadi. Just I had joined my lectureship. So I went with my anesthetic at one uh, a rural hospital. It, 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 that hospital was government rural hospital. Uh, there was one lady gynecologist. I'm not going to disclose her name. So uh, she going to operate the LSA. She, uh, she was going to operate on LSAS. My anesthetist told me that uh, he is a BMS, a BMS gynecologist. So uh, he came with me. So we have a chat and she started doing the cesarean section. She told me I, need, I don't need any kind of help. So I walked out, uh, walked to that hospital, and sat on the uh, sat on the seashore. After 15 to 20 minutes, one ward by uh, came to me. He was running. He was very frightened, and he asked me, "Your anesthetic called up. Your uh, your anesthetic called up." So I went there. What I saw, both hands of the baby are protruding from the wound. And she could unable to deliver that baby. I saw that scenario. Incision was very small. Patient was moderately obese, prime gravida. She took for the elective cesarean section. 
and at that scenario uh, and, and after seeing that scenario i was a little bit frightened what has happened first i noticed that incision was very small so i put gloves i made the incision a little bit longer i cut the muscle transversely i i had made the inverted t on the uterus i reposed the both hands and i delivered that baby and after that that gynecologist become my very good friend so what i am saying see everybody any person need help and after that i had also experiences bad fetal extractions and everything so uh, i had talked with dr priyanka madam and i told her that i would like to take lecture on this delivering fetal head during c section and troubleshoot okay this is about what i what what my first experience when in uh, maybe in 2002 that time i was in savanwadi okay i will start with my presentation my hero is ian donald hmm? he has written the book practical obstetrics i am i am very much fond of him in his preface he dedicated book to all who have known doubt perplexity and fear i as i have known to them so everybody as obstetrician everybody go through doubts perplexity and fear still still i am having doubt perplexity and fear to all who have made mistakes as i have in my this 24 uh, 24 years career obstetric career i have made lot of mistakes uh, i went through lot of troubles yes and to all whose humanity increases with their knowledge of this fascinating subject subject this was the line in the book of ian donald so i will start with this a cesarean section cesarean section the word cesarean section it has some history there was one roman law made in the time of numa pompilius he was a roman emperor and uh, in that law he given order that to cut open the abdomen on fated or a dying woman in our ayurvedic samhitas also in the management of mood garbha same the same thing has been written what what in our uh, textbook or samhitas has written bastamara vipannaya kukshi praspandate yati tat kshanat janma kale pate tato pate uddharit bhishaka means when the woman Uh, maybe she is fated or maybe she is dying eh? and her abdomen is praspandate kukshi praspandate yadi her abdomen suppose her abdomen is pulsating then you have to cut open the abdomen and extract the fetus so this was uh, this was uh, 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 this, this what is written in our text mm-hmm. another thing after bastamar bastamar means what the cutting goat uh, if, if 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 you have seen the cutting goat her, the go- goat of abdomen uh, is pulsating like that bastamara vipannaya okay after that it, it is written by shishu it, it is written in the shishu sahita nidan sthan and afterwards ashtang hrada and ashtang sangraha they has written that basti dware vipannaya not bastamar here they had written basti dware vipannaya kukshi praspandate yati जन्म काले तत्क्षण पाटे उद्धरित शिशु इन फर्स्ट वर्स इन द फर्स्ट श्लोक देर वॉज भीषक इन द सेकेंड श्लोक विच इज रिटर्न बाय अष्टांग हृदय अष्टांग संग्रह देर वॉज कुक्षी कुक्षी शिशुम शिशुम ओके जन्म काले जन्म काले मीन्स वॉट नियर टर्म नियर टर्म इफ सपोज दैट वुमन इज फेटेड और डाइंग वुमन द वर्ड द वर्ड सीजर द वर्ड सीजेरियन इट क्रे इट केम फ्रॉम द वर्ड cedar or casura this is the latin verb and the section the section again it is a latin verb and the meaning of section and scissor that is the to cut this is all about the history and the father of uh, the father of uh, cesarean section in the modern obstetric the father of cesarean section is uh, francis morsio hmm? and the father of lower segment cesarean section is munro care okay this is all about the this is all about the history of cesarean section now leaving with the history i am going to uh, going to explain the steps of cesarean section 
in last lecture in last lecture we had seen one video it is demonstrated by kamte sir he had explained very nicely about each and every step of the drainage section its importance trouble shoots and everything so today i am going to talk a little bit about only extracting fetus and its requisition so opening abdomen as i am a senior uh, just i told you that uh, for, since 25 years i am doing uh, this uh, this all these kinds of surgery i came to know that a little bit broad incision or the elaborate incision or liberal incision can solve lot of difficulties so while opening the abdomen if if in the primary gravida suppose she is obese if it is in the thin patient it's okay but in but in obese patients the patients who had strong abdominal muscles in the patients of previous cesarean sections in the patient of previous uh, surgeries the, in the fibrosed abdomen fibrosed scar so while opening the abdomen always make the liberal cut okay make the adequate incision or just more than the adequate incision 2 cm more incision if the incision is more than uh, more than 2 cm than a regular incision nothing will happen it requires only two stitch but it can prevent lot of complications so while opening the abdomen just open it liberally again it depends upon the patient if suppose patient is thin baby's average that time you can have that advantage to make a adequate incision but suppose the condition is otherwise then the incision of the abdomen should be more than adequate next thing after the opening the abdomen after the skin incision you have to separate the rectus sheath in again in the scarred abdomen you have to separate the rectus sheath adequately you have to separate the muscles again adequately so more than adequate is important in the opening the abdomen incision on uterus i have seen many times people uh, inside the uterus either too low or too above but then in the lower segments if the incision is too low suppose the incision on the uterus is too low the length of incision it remains less it can cause the trouble in the extracting fetus or there are chances of extension lateral extension is more when the incision is too low if suppose the incision is too high incision is too high and suppose lower segment is not formed not prepared that directly you go into the upper segment you have to cut more and more uterus the bleeding is more again the uh, you got thick segment you may face problem while the extraction of extraction of fetal head so in both conditions incision on uterus is very important hmm? again incision of uterus is uh, very important if there are bladder is adherent okay or the ventral fixed uterus so incision on uh, the site of incision on uterus is very important again after the after adequate mobilization of uterine incision the delivering or delivering of fetal head is again it is very tricky uh, what i say we can we can get help while opening the abdomen we can get help if suppose there is a bleeding suppose there is a flabby uterus suppose there are extensions suppose the suppose there is a lateral extensions for any 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 complication we can get help we can call for help but if suppose you incise the uterus and you are trying to deliver the fetus then you cannot seek for help you have to do it you, uh, you have to do it in on your own skills so delivering the fetal head it is very, very tricky you got little time maybe 6 to 7 minutes if you are going to if you are not delivering during that time then you, you may land up into complications so delivering fetal head is very tricky and after that delivering the ba- delivering the baby anticipate difficulty so see before taking before taking the patient to cesarean section you have to anticipate the difficulty what will going to happen in that pa- in that patient anticipation is always better than creating problems and then again tackling it so anticipate difficulty if suppose the patient is morbid morbid there is a morbid obesity again always think for the difficulty in the extraction of head and difficulty in the cesarean section also previous surgeries like uh, 
previous cesarean section, ventral fixed uterus, lower segment leomyomas. We have to an anticipate the difficulty. Polyhydromenos, especially in poly polyhydromenos, there is a high floating head. You may counter difficult in the delivering head. Anterior wall low lying placentas, high floating head, extreme preterms, big babies, deep transverse arrest, persistent occipital posterior position, transverse lie, mal positions, complex presentation, conjoint twins. In all these things, we have to anticipate the difficulty and we have to prepare ourselves accordingly. Not just go, just open the abdomen, open the uterus and trying to extract the fetus. Many times you may feel difficulty in doing cesarean insection in all these patients. So always anticipate, be prepared. Okay, be confident, be prepared, but anticipate difficulty and accordingly you have to prepare yourself you have to prepare your staff. You, you can get extra help before starting the surgery. You can call some senior person. You can call, you can call your colleague for the help. So uh, at the time of anticipating, you can seek for help. You can, you can manage help. But once you have started, then nobody will come to help you. Mistakes. The, what, what, what I shared one experience, I experienced a lot, I experienced a lot, lot of such mishaps. I have been working with so many obstetricians, maybe maybe more than 25, 26 obstetricians. So in a, inadequate abdominal incision, it is a key. It is a key for many complications. Inadi inadequate dissection or separation of rectus sheath. Inadequate separation of. Sometimes the rectus sheath is very much fibrous. We could unable to separate it from the muscles in the previous cesarean section or previous surgery. So the band are going to uh, are going to tr trouble you in the extraction of fetal head. Inadequate separations of muscles. Sometimes separations are uh, sometimes muscles are very much adherent to each other. We cannot get space uh, to open the peritoneum. So inadequate separation of muscles. Wrong site of incision on lower segment of uterus. Just I covered these things. Attempt to deliver head without flexion. I had seen so many obstetricians. They were just they open the uterus. And they put their hand and they're trying to deliver the baby. Wait, wait, wait till the flexion of fetal head. This is the key of smooth delivery of fetus. So attempt to deliver the fetal head without flexion. It can cause problem. It can cause troubles. Mistiming of fundal pressure. If the head is not flexed, if head is again rotating, at that time you asked for the fundal pressure, then again the axis, uh, axis will may go wrong and uh, there are chances of rotation of fetal head and fetus also and you are going to face the troubles so miss timing of fundal pressure when you are confident when you are comfortable when we when you feel that yes this head is flexed that time only you ask for the fundal pressure so miss timing of fundal pressure again it is a key point two key points attempt to deliver head without flexion and miss timing of fundal pressure last thing Again, it is very important. Frantic and panic attempts without any orientation with unexplained hurry. Frantic attempts. If suppose fetal head is not coming, that uh, operator become very uh, much panic, very much anxious. Sometimes that that surgeon becomes blank. He know what to do and what not to do. And that time he's doing something very unusual and he may face the problem. So the frantic and panic attempts without any orientation. I think we have lost the connection. Dr. Sindhu? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, uh, please uh, call. Uh, yeah. Yes, ma'am, I'm doing it. Yeah, ma'am.
ಮಾಡಿ ಕೂಡ ಹಲೋ ಸರ್ ಹಲೋ ಸರ್ ಐಮ್ ಕಾಲಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಅನೇಬಲ್ ಟು ರಿಸೀವ್ ದ ಕಾಲ್ ಐ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಐ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಆದ್ರೆ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಪುಟ್ ಅ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಯಾರ್ ಚೆನ್ನ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಸರ್ ನೈ ಹೈ ನೋ ನೋ ಯು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಹೈ ಯಾ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಯಾ ಯಾ ವಿಲ್ ರೀಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಯೆಸ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ Uh, ma'am, I can see, sir. He is present, ma'am. He is present, but we are but unable to hear him. Yeah, ma'am, hmm. I'm calling him, ma'am. He is not receiving the call. We are... Yeah, huh? Yeah, ma'am. Have you messaged him, Dr. Sindhu? Ma'am, I called mm-hmm. sir one. He didn't know that uh, like uh, his connection was off. So he's joining again ma'am. He's rejoining. Okay. Okay. Yeah ma'am. hello yes sir we can hear you yes sir yeah, yeah. okay 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 please Sorry. continue mm-hmm. that's okay sir it's okay Okay, where I am at the troubleshoot or where? No, sir. Hello? Previous. Previous. The previous, previous slide, sir. Mistakes. Almost yeah. done. Yeah. Huh. The last. Okay, okay. The last point. Last fra- panic uh, uh, frantic and panic attack. Okay, okay. Yes, I will yes. go to the next slide. Okay. Uh, the troubleshoot. Uh, uh, speaking about troubleshoot, anticipate complications, learn from our mistake, practice, execute, analyze, and set sops so all these things are very important anticipation is very important learning from our own mistakes and others mistakes again it is very important 
practice good things practice what you have learned execute when it is needed if suppose you face any problems you execute it and so and solve that complication solve that trouble analysis be a critic of yourself always be a critic of yourself always analyze what went wrong what should have been done better each and everything and set sops you can you can get sops from your colleagues for your senior for your bosses for your teachers set some good sops so uh, for the troubleshoots anticipate learn practice execute analyze and set as sops it is very important learn basics from a proper person this is very important if suppose i have learned c section from a person who is doing a cesarean section very in a rough manner very hastily he don't use, uh, he don't used to respect the tissues and suppose i have learned all these things from that i have to reciprocate same things and i may i may commit some complications so learning basics from a proper person again it is very important another thing respect tissue the respecting tissue or dissecting tissue is very important if you handle the tissue roughly then again it is not going to help you follow the basics religiously again it is very important learn basics from a proper person and follow them religiously so they are going to help you into the complications into problems again avoid cut shots and hurry many time what happens due to the more or less due to many surgeries we try to cut short we try to skip some space uh, steps so don't do that don't make it in a hurry enjoy surgery okay avoid cut short and hurry impatience is mother of all complications don't be impatient if you have opened the abdomen you have started the surgery don't think any uh, don't, don't think about anything else just be there surgery is like a meditation if you have started it then do it religiously do it calm and quietly give your 100% to that patient so just don't be in a hurry impatience is a mother of all complications refrain yourself from doing something heroic uh, see i am telling this what happens sometimes people trying to do something heroic trying to cut short some steps and in one or another case they may commit into the complications so refrain yourself from doing something heroic be open minded to admit and to correct the mistakes if you have done something wrong okay fine mistakes happen with each and every person so nothing wrong in that be open minded correct the mistakes improvise yourself with each and every procedure that is very important be open minded correct mistakes because you are going to deal with a patient and if suppose you are doing same mistake again and again again and again you are making complications 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 nothing is going to work nicely so improvise yourself one of my boss he used to open the bladder in every fourth or fifth patient uh, in previous lss patient so uh, what i have learned from him to repair the bladder so if suppose i open bladder in any patient i could able to repair it myself so learn 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 from the others mistakes be a good observer that's very important if you are not doing anything if you are not doing surgery some another person is doing uh, surgery just be a good observer observe him his good things and his bad things also be like a blotting paper uh, what is uh, how how to be like a blotting paper absorb what, whatever there is a good just absorb it just absorb it respect your patient maintain her dignity avoid any kind of mental and physical trauma to the patient this is very important then procedures my procedures and the maneuvers to deliver the baby smoothly nicely plan appropriate maneuver to deliver the head this is very important plan appropriate maneuver if suppose if, if suppose the patient is obese if there is a high floating head or if there is a deep engaged head just think about the maneuver in in your mind before opening the abdomen just plan the appropriate maneuver to deliver the head 
application of obstetric forceps for control head delivery it will help in the high floating head deflexed head transverse lie so judicious use of obstetric forceps use ventos in selected cases again this these both instruments are very important in the c section making inverted t inverted t making inverted t again it is in the high floating head in transverse lie in modified patwardhan just make a liberal t and when the space is less in any kind of uh, difficulty you can make inverted t incision delivering by internal podalic version when i was in savanwadi we used to do these two maneuvers making inverted t and delivering by internal podalic version we do it often very frequently modified patwardhan patwardhan technique for the deep transfer thrust lower vertical incision on lower segment i have never tried this lower vertical incision i am happy with the inverted t and classical c section uh, then uh, this is the video of uh, say, this is the simple video how to how to extract fit, how to extract the fetal head see i have not separated the bladder uh, i have not uh, opened the eb fold see incision on the lower segment incision is liberal means the length of incision is more than 5 cm then then i am making small and small nick so uh, meconium strain liker is there so this is the case of previous uh, previous section cord was popping just put your hand in between the fetal head just lift it no need no need of fundal pressure and i always deliver anterior shoulder first and then i will go for the posterior shoulder no no hurry nothing 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 has to be there so this is the simple extraction make adequate incision on the make adequate incision on the lower segment first thing then extend upwardly extend the incision upwardly like a smiley with two fingers then put your put your four fingers between the lower flap of lower segment and fetal head and just elevate it just elevate it it will come automatically there is no need of fundal pressure or nothing else this is the another video it is in the high floating head see in this case also this is also case of previous section i have not separated the we we fold or separated the bladder liker is more and more a bit polyhedromenous drain the liker don't do anything uh, just don't do any heroic things just be quiet lift the upper flag like a smiley i'm doing it very gently if we if, if you do in a rough manner then automatically there is ex extension of incision just do bring the head into the incision site just lift it ask ask your assistant to retract the abdominal wall hmm? just a little two strokes of two strokes of fundal pressure then this is the case of high floating head with polyhedromenos what i have done i opened the uterus i allow the liker to drain after the draining liker i just upwardly upwardly push the upper segment or upper flap of lower segment it allows the fetal head to come into incision and again it allows the fetal head for the flexion when i when i think yes this head is going to flex then i put my hand and then i deliver that baby okay this is the another video two videos first one is simple another another one is one is with high floating here this is the case of vasa previa so the uh, so while opening see very smoothly i am trying to i am trying to open the uterus histotomy i am doing it uh, very gently because this is the case of vasa previa in the fear of tearing that uh, major vessel i am trying to uh, separate lower segment a flap of lower segment a flap of upper and lower see again 
just of just lift pulling up pulling up the upper flap of lower segment put your four fingers in between lower flap just ask for one or two gentle strokes of pedal pressure a two loops of cord or a two uh, just uh, cord is wrapped around the ankle of that baby again meconium strand like up so this is the this is another case when when suppose there is a placenta vasa previa anterior wall placenta you go gently either go through boldly when the plus the lip of the placenta is beneath the incision go boldly incise the uh, placenta and then extract the fetus this is the application of ventos again the case is high floating head previous lcs first first open the uterus then apply ventus try to apply it on vertex okay rotating your finger around the cup make sure that no and no wall of uterus is grasped in between um, cup ventus cup so be very gentle be very gentle see the site of application of cup is exactly at the vertex this is going uh, this is the ventus delivery how to apply the ventus how to pull the uh, how to pull the baby where to apply and uh, and in the what case another case this is the application of forceps again high floating head with polyhydraminos i opened the i allowed the liquor to drain it completely making a smiley incision fixing the head putting my hand in between fetal head and the lower flap applied lower blade of forceps then just ask assistant to hold this blade otherwise make sure the blade is ap applied properly and then try to extract so this is this is this is very good instrument either in vaginal delivery or in cesarean section so i am a old timer so i so i still believe in the obstetric forceps and i still apply this is all about the maneuvers one simple another high floating head another one uh, with the ventos and this one is the forcep if suppose see this is making inverted t again this is the case of uh, again this is the case of previous uh, previous uh, c section bladder is adherent so i am not going to separate the bladder i am taking incision making a small leak previous one is long then doing small 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 leak till the membrane i am not in a hurry liquor is meconium strain so you can see the making a smiley incision Sir, we can't hear your voice, Dr. Shailendra. I'll speak. Yeah. Thank you. 
sorry for the technical issues we are trying to fix it हेलो सर हेलो सर हेलो नो आई थिंक सो सर सर्स नेटवर्क इज नॉट देयर मे बी मैम ही आंसर्ड द कॉल मैम ही टोल्ड he would see to it and i'll check once again okay okay no ma'am okay ma'am Yes, sir. Had called, ma'am. He is logging in once again, ma'am. Okay, no problem. Yeah, ma'am. Hello, sir. We are audible to you. हेलो या मैम सर इज अगेन लॉगिंग ऑफ एंड लॉगिंग इन ही हैड कॉल्ड मैम ओके ही इज लॉगिंग इन मैम अगेन या या मैम हेलो सर यू लॉग्ड इन आई थिंक सो सर हैज नॉट येट लॉग्ड इन या ही विल जस्ट या 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 मैम आई जस्ट कॉल अगेन some network issue is there but uh, very beautiful session is going on so please stay with us so we will join soon ma'am sir uh, he might take one or two minutes ma'am he is trying to log in ma'am yeah yeah absolutely yeah, yeah ma'am this is very important session i should say and uh, sir is taking very nicely yeah yes ma'am with his personal experiences right ma'am yeah 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 until that i think dr priyanka you can share your opinion also 
or we are having a very good person here dr herlikar sir is there my yes. diaper sir is here yes. Uh, please, uh, Dr. Herlekar, sir. Hello. Hello. Ah, uh, hello. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 See, uh, from this video, na. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Inverted. Yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, see, this is the case of a previous two C sections. Uh, see, uh, initial incision was a little bit broad. Then I am making small and small leak. Liker is meconium strain liker, so uh, lateral space is little bit less. So I'm trying to make an inverted T incision to facilitate the smooth fetal extraction. Put put your two finger uh, in between fetal head and upper flap of lower segment. Insinuate your four finger between lower segment and fetal head. Just ask for a little bit uh, traction and uh, and. And you are the fetal head. This is uh, this is uh, uh, I, I I have told you about three maneuvers. One is application of windows, then the application of forceps, then inverted T. I have no video of modified patwardhan. So I'm I, I'm sharing one video. See here, this is again a case of uh, high floating head. obese patient obese patient trying to deliver a head after taking incision but tried for fundal pressure lifting the upper flap giving fundal pressure from each and every point still head is stubborn it is not coming i am trying 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 it takes some time but be patient believe in our skills this is all about the last i have another one video but i am not going to share it see for a good obstetric practice or for a for a uh, being a obstetrician passion is very important so be passionate what you what you have done what you are doing what you have to done so be passionate about the subject and practice practice lot of good things imitate good things in uh, uh, in our maharashtra there is a naneshwari in naneshwari uh, the great saint naneshwari written that ya lagi majhe thai abhyase mil abhyasa si kahi sarvatha dushkar nahi या लागे माझे ठाई अभ्यास मिळ म्हणजे इफ यू आर गोइंग टू अचीव एनिथिंग यू कॅन अचीव एनिथिंग बाय प्रॅक्टिस 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 अँड प्रॅक्टिस ओके यू कॅन बी परफेक्ट बाय प्रॅक्टिस सो मनोनी अभ्यासाशी काही इफ यू प्रॅक्टिस इफ यू कीप प्रॅक्टिसिंग ओके सर्वथा दुष्कर नाही यू कॅन गेट एनिथिंग आप किसी आप कोणसी चीज पा सकते हो या ला की माझे ठाई अभ्यास ही मिळेल इसीलिये मुझे प्रॅक्टिस करणे का हर वक्त मौका मिले देन द प्रिसिजन वॉट यू हॅव लर्न सो ट्राय टू बी व्हेरी प्रिसाइज व्हेरी पर्टिक्युलर व्हेरी सिन्सिअर व्हेरी ऑनेस्ट अँड लास्ट थिंग दॅट इज द परसिवरन्स परसिवरन्स इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट अँड बिलीव इन युअर सेल्फ सो थँक्यू फॉर द पेशंट लिस्निंग अँड आय एम एक्स्ट्रीमली सॉरी सम प्रॉब्लेम विथ नेटवर्क Uh, and all these things uh, two times i broke out uh, network so and thank you for yes, the sir. patient listening and thank you priyanka and thank you all the seniors for giving this opportunity to present myself uh, the, the, uh, this presentation would have been better if uh, if i had given the in, uninterrupted speech so let it be 
ஒப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி ஃபார் யூ to interact with our renowned guest interact with the most senior uh, uh, faculty here so any questions you can put on the chat box or you can raise a hand so unmute yourself and then answer the questions uh, ask the questions and uh, we are here to sort it out and sir will answer it for you so we'll go with the questions now so any among you who are ready sir uh, until then sir until our uh, audience would uh, ask the questions sir we just want uh, guidance from you regarding the absolute and the relative indications of the upper segment sir upper segment uh, section like when should we prefer an upper segment particularly compared to the lower segment one okay as per my experience when the uh, when in the previous c section patient placenta is complete low lying or placenta previa then okay. go for upper segment cesarean section and uh, if the placenta is morbidly adherent in the previous section okay. patients many times often placenta is morbidly adherent to the lower segment or okay, it uh, it uh, sometime it encroaches the broad ligament also that time we uh, we have to go for the obstetric hysterectomy so always try to do um, classical classical cesarean section we used to again do a transverse incision uh, rather than longitudinal incision on the mm-hmm. uh, fundus or on the uh, upper part of upper segment of uterus we extract the baby we close that uterus very roughly and just we go to the uh, obstetric hysterectomy this is what we practice okay ha huh. we never try to even separate we will never try to even separate that placenta Many yeah. times it ble- it bleeds very very furiously. You can yes. lose your patient within a minute. So, mm-hmm. uh, in all, some good persons while doing this. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is this I'm is sorry. all about the classical section or or in the model of modern obstetrics, there is no role of class- classical C section. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you for that, sir. Sir, there thank is you, a ma'am. question. Yes, sir. There is a question regarding. the usage and the indications and the methodical steps for the application of forceps during a cesarean section yeah 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 this is again it is very important question as far yes. as far as me when i was in savantwadi especially uh, near about 2002 to 8 for 6 years uh, that time i was used to uh, take a inverted t or internal podalic version we used to take if suppose we try for head if it didn't come just we cut the upper uh, just make a t and we deliver the baby when i came to sangli uh, i'm working with one senior obstetrician uh, one day he uh, he faced a difficulty and quietly he applied for that he extract the baby and i and i realized that it is very easy rather than doing more and more invasive so so in high floating head in high floating head mm-hmm. uh, in the obese patient in previous c section patient when the excess fibrosis is there uh, and there is chances of slipping of fetal head that time just be gentle put a forceps extract the baby uh, there is no chances of uh, extension of uh, uterine wound nothing 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 will happen nothing problem will happen to the baby also mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. this is very safe instrument to use in c section okay sir sir uh, should we be aware of the particular position of the head of the fetus like yeah, is yeah, it yeah 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 maybe uh, it is a requisite uh, see, before, before we apply before, before, yeah before t- taking okay. c section always we see for the fetal hearts where is the back, where, where is the back of the fetus mm mm-hmm. okay uh, is it at right side or left side according yes, to sir. according accordingly you assume the fetal head or the vertex is on right side or left side put mm-hmm. your hand in between the lower flap of uh, lower segment and fetal head 
you can palpate you can palpate the ears and put the uh, posterior blade of obstetric forceps then apply okay. uh, anterior blade and just extract it there is no need of any uh, typical procedure typical maneuver typical uh, fetal head position nothing okay there is no need there is no need fine sir fine nothing sir. will happen nothing will happen okay sir if there sir, is a little is... bit mal application nothing will happen okay. it takes some okay. seconds ha huh. fine sir thank you sir thank you for that sir okay. sir are there any indications for performing a pervaginal examination before we perform cesarean section if so what are those conditions and how would our incision over the lower segment depend on this particular aspect sir yeah if there is a deep transverse uh, deep transverse arrest Okay. 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 A prolonged second stage of labor. Mm -hmm. You tried with the instrumental deliveries. You tried with ventos. You tried with forceps. And suppose that baby didn't come. So mm -hmm. your your lower segment is stretched up, up and up. Yeah. If if you if 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 you take incision on your on your regular regular site, you may incise the vaginal wall, not the lower uterine segment, yes. or okay. you may go through cervix. many mm. times many times people either go through cervix or go through the vaginal vault and there are and there are chances of lot of extensions so always try to take the incision above above the contraction or the at the contraction ring okay okay you can palpate the contraction ring take a incision above the contraction ring and uh, try to deliver the head with modified pattern technique or vaginal push technique Okay, sir. And what precaution we should take when if there is a bandal ring formation over there? How mm. we will uh, assess the lower segment properly and uh, extension of the lower segment? Extension of lower segment. Uh, to avoid the low, uh, extension of lower segment, always uh, try to make incision little bit upper. Okay. In bandal ring also. About that. try to take your incision above that ring above that contraction oh. ring yes ha uh, you you will get more and more space hands or shoulders are just lying beneath that ring so you can easily perform the modified patwardhan okay sir okay okay yes, so many time we many time we took episiotomies we tried with ventos we tried with forceps again there mm -hmm. is absolute or the contracted pelvics then we have to go for cesarean section and if suppose if there is a persistent occipital posterior position again the mm -hmm. if you are trying to if you are trying to pull the vertex then it can cause many times it can cause bad vaginal tear bad extensions yes you have to keep suturing mm -hmm. suturing suturing it is more invasive so try to uh, in that in such patients Take a broad incision on just uh, just at the contraction ring and deliver by the modified pattern technique. Fine, sir. Fine, fine. Sir, among uh, modified pattern technique, sir, among the modified ones, three or there, which would you prefer, sir? Or is it according to the presentation and position? Yeah, sir? yeah. According to the presentation, according to the size of baby, okay. according to the obesity, according to the uh, previous uh, surgery. See, if the baby is small. Hmm. if the baby is small go go with uh, two hands it will come easily if the baby is big then again made a uh, inverted t incision hmm. and and extract the fetus with modified patwardhan technique one hand hmm. one leg another leg then hand then fetus ipsi natural one yes sir okay yeah okay. Yeah. yeah yeah okay sir thanks a lot sir okay sir sir what are the precautions that we should take to avoid the hyper extension of the head and neck sir while uh, uh, extracting the head how will we know that yes we are not doing this particular uh, uh, event yeah 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 see uh, see our tactile stimulations are developed uh, as okay. we practice more and more yeah, once yes. you put your hand uh, at fetal head you realize that uh, this head is going okay. to give us trouble at yes. that time just apply forceps apply ventos and extract the fetus if suppose oh. you are asking for the fundal pressure without any flexion then mm -hmm. again the fetal head keep rotating rotating either it go into that corner that corner you are trying to make it in the incision it will not come it will take time another few minutes you will become panic and the total scenario become different and mm -hmm. at some point at some point each and every person will get blank Right, uh, 
he he get blank he don't know what to do next and mm-hmm. that time the maximum mistakes are happen in those time when you become blank mm mm-hmm. mm-hmm. yes. so anticipate just anticipate anticipate if there is high floating head patient is obese and uh, if if suppose it depends upon your physics also if, if suppose i am a small i am a small person i have less power hmm? i never try to do with the joho hill i always try with the financial incision i cut the uh, rectus laterally i separate muscle properly i okay. make adequate space and then space. i go for extraction huh? okay. i took I, okay. i just i never try to stretch i stretch uh, rectus sheath and muscles in only severe fetal distress at that time i have to deliver the fetal head within a minute within a half minute that time only mm-hmm. i prefer that technique otherwise in a routine mm-hmm. cases i go very quietly and calmly okay sir right sir thank you for that sir so at the second stage of full labor and with the impacted head uh, uh in which conditions we should uh, um, safely go with the pull techniques and uh, push technique uh see uh, in in second stage arrest we always know the station of head and another tricky thing that is the persistent occipital posterior the station at the plus 2 or station at zero station with ox persistent occipital posterior if we if we go for the pull technique oh sorry if you go for the push technique again your your head delivery is going to be difficult if the occiput is posterior you have to put your hand below that uh, below below that fetal face through the fetal head and and if if your fingers are small if you are a small person mostly girls yes. their fingers are little bit small so their finger their hand never go so deep so uh, it remains uh, it remains up of the fetal head and again it is going to it going to create problem complication so always make an incision on just at the worth of uh, upper segment lower segment and try to deliver the fetal head by modified patrodan technique yes. once mastery it is very easy modified yes. patrodan is very easy actually in deep impacted heads a shoulder is always come after the incising the lower segment it mm. comes first mm. it just it is a pop- popping at the uh, incision site so deliver it mm. but never try to deliver a hand never try to deliver hand in high floating head mm. in high floating head it is 100% it is going to trouble uh, you may lose baby uh, in in that scenario so never if if suppose hand popped out that time just take a liberal inverted t put hand inside and then try to grasp and and try to uh, try to grasp the fetal head, fetal leg and extracted by internal portal version okay also i would like to ask sir what precautions need to be taken during c section with an anterior fibroid or fibroid at the site of incision try to avoid it that's the only solution okay try to avoid try to avoid incising try to avoid the inc- taking incision over the fibroid that's the only solution if you go through the fi- fibroid you have to face a lot of bleeding uh, yes, again yes. the space is again the space is very less and you are not going to excise that fibroid it becomes somewhat messy then always try to always try to avoid that fib- fibroid take incision to the lateral make inverted t deliver your baby quietly suture it and just be happy okay <laughs> also how to extract wins baby lying both in transverse line yeah 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 that day uh, dr priyanka also asked this question uh, see in monocoronic so monocoronic uh, nowadays mono uh, monocoronic uh, twins are very less always uh, obstetrician uh, advice uh, nahi always obstetrician advised uh, for the termination if suppose a patient any baby you deliver if uh, first one or second nothing will happen nothing will there is a lot of space grasp the leg of the baby any baby first one or second one uh, the baby will come out then the, you you can deliver the another baby see okay. making making abdominal incision mobilizing proper muscles mobilizing rectus sheath 
making more and more room uh, taking uh, la- taking liberal incision on the uterine wall it helps in each and every procedure so uh, but try to make it just liberal more visible more precise uh, that's what i'm saying don't try yes. uh, don't, uh, don't don't try to get the baby from the small incision uh, nobody yes, will right, give you price uh, nobody mm-hmm. nobody give you price uh, this is this is craze in the first or second um, residency i have delivered that baby from this small incision yes i have done this in half an hour 20 minutes 10 minutes forget about this forget yeah. about no nobody will give you price about all right. these things just give yeah. proper justice to your patient that is very important yes yes sir many times nothing will happen many times nothing will happen but if happens if something happens that that you may end up into bigger problem uh, and you keep regretting what i have done what i have done i should not have done the things always you, you keep re- regretting yes yes sir also what is the uh, fetal pillow technique is it significant and do when you, should we pre- do, you, do you know the cost of fetal pillow no no sir uh, no, no, i i you i, I, I see right. your private practice and nee, priyanka priyanka will answer this question <laughs> what is the cost of fetal pillow <laughs> she she is she is really really rich so she can answer no no, no sir what is the see, significance see, i see these these are they, they are called as the toys and these toys toys are very expensive so and there is very less use of it very less okay. these all these things are for the academician put a fetal okay, fetal yeah. pillow yeah put a fetal pillow and all these things Hmm. See, if you are doing on your own with limited resources, uh, you have to be very particular. Yeah, right. Sir. Try to try instead of getting into problems, just try to avoid it. Once, hmm. w- once you confirm that this is a outlet CPD, a head is big, baby is big, it will not come from the vagina. Take early incision. Uh, sorry, take early decision. Also, I would like no, to ask. Uh, got it? Yes, sir. Huh. Sir, how liberal we should be while taking the inverted T incision? It depends. Again, it depends upon the if the if the baby if, if there is an absolute transverse lie. So make it mm-hmm. make it more liberal. So mm-hmm. if if just there is a high floating head, then it should be three four centimeter. If, if it is, it should be more than five centimeter if the lie is transverse. if you need more and more manipulation the incision should be more if you need less manipulation let it be uh, below 5 cm sir how to do manual rotation of fetal head occiput in fetal malposition in second stage of labor abdominally vaginally second stage of labor vaginally vaginally how to rotate the mal position of fetal head or just to diagnose the mal position of fetal head again it is very important and very tricky hmm? Hmm. in in neglected second stage what will happen there is a lot of caput hmm? yes uh, right we, yeah yeah we we fail to uh, uh, we fail to just see that uh, suture ha huh? sutures on the vertex sutures on the fetal head yes so So, so first put your two finger beneath the um, uh, fetal head the uh, fetal head and pubic symphysis you can easily okay, you, can e- ha, you can e- easily feel the ear of that fetus if your fingers are long then you can easily palpate the ear of that fetus and you come to know that this is the transverse rs if you go laterally and uh, n- n- Uh, you can you cannot perceive anything because there is a lot of uh, cephal hematoma a lot of mm-hmm. caput uh, you, you cannot diagnose you can diagnose uh, just beneath the pubic symphysis and okay. and if you are trying to rotate it it will not rotate manually mm-hmm. you have to put forceps and then try to extract the fetus yes sir sir how to manage any abnormal bleeding at the placental bed after the placental extraction sir 
पार्डन पार्डन मॅडम सर हाऊ टू मॅनेज दी अबनॉर्मल ब्लिडिंग लाईक मोर इन क्वांटिटी यु नो ॲट द साईट ऑफ प्लासेंटल बेड आफ्टर दी एक्सट्रॅक्शन ऑर एक्सपेन्शन ऑफ द प्लासेंटा Yes, 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 yes. Now, see, uh, see, suppose, uh, suppose the placenta is morbidly adolescent. And uh, see, suppose the placenta is morbidly adolescent and you, and you have uh, delivered the placenta manually or you have separated the placenta manually. That time there are chances of a uh, little bit excess bleeding from the placental side. First, Now see for the quantity of bleeding if it is more put a pack put a pack wait for a while uh, then if if that bleeding comes down if that bleeding comes down then nothing will happen just close the uterus give some uh, pause injection pause hmm. and observe one thing second thing if the bleeding is torrential it is not going to stop after being a pressure or anything it try to try to suture that placental bed okay okay try to suture that placental bed and uh, if bleeding stops uh, if bleeding stops then again uh, wait and watch and if bleeding still remains and it is excess in quantity then all, then think for the obstetric hysterectomy because such bleeding see bleeding of uh, atonic uterus it yes. can be managed it can be managed but okay. bleeding from placental side always yes. it is a tricky always it is tricky it may cause some problem after 6 to 7 hours that mm-hmm. time patient is awake patient is drenched maybe in the hypotension maybe in the verge of dic that time if try to do something then it will become a hell anticipate mm-hmm. it just it is not going to stop you know, putting a condom catheter putting pressure uh, putting gel foam these are the things to do in the um, institute not yes. in private practice not yeah. in pra- private practice in private practice we have very limited limited resources once your anesthetic is gone uh, he will not come to help you once your assistant mm-hmm. once uh, and patient also if if you save uh, some blood for the patient they will not, not going to help you always they are not going to help you so try to anticipate uh, the things on table Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Priyanka, ma'am, uh, unmute, ma'am. Unmute yourself, ma'am. Okay, sorry. No problem. Hello? Huh, yeah, ma'am, you're audible, ma'am. Yeah. Sir, uh, while the prolonged second stage of labor and uh, with impacted head with the ruptured membrane, uh, should we prefer the abdominal-vaginal delivery? abdominal vaginal delivery oh, i have not tried priyanka okay uh, uh, i have no any experience okay right. sometimes what uh, happens if you you, 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 you can put light if you have done you can put light no so i i just ha uh, once i i have faced that problem actually with uh, shoulder and head uh deeply engaged and at that time i just took the incision and uh, um, said, delivered the baby with uh, modification and making it a reverse uh, uh, okay as was well, okay, yeah. okay okay but only okay. For, 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 because it was very difficult at that time my how means i cannot yeah. deliver that baby vaginally also and i cannot even uh, abdominally uh, yeah so at that time i i have done that only one case in my life okay. but till okay. uh, till now Yeah, yeah 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 we we have to face very unusual cases uh, someone someone has posted in our group nima which a group the breach there was uh, one breach patient uh, and uh, uh, open and up for the cesarean section hands were delivered someone yeah, yeah. pulling That, legs are lying uh, outside hands, hands are popping out of the incision wound so uh, why he has not tried for the vaginal delivery i always had a question i had discussed with with her legal sir also the buttocks are all, always outside the vagina and why he has tried for the she so might be trying me or something like that no I, i don't know but i think uh, that extraction also become very became very difficult okay sir uh, he, he has posted some photographs and videos yeah i know i know i got it hmm. 
I remember that post. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll see. Sir, uh, sir, what is your opinion uh, uh, in uh, for uh, reverse the bridge extraction technique? In uh, uh, which cases we should prefer? A reverse internal podolic version. Yes, version reverse bridge extraction only. In C section, uh, you are asking in C section, na? Yes, yes. Uh, see if the head is not coming if the head is not coming it is very much deflexed uh, in poly in severe, in the ob obese patient then if head is not coming it is not in the range of forceps or ventos then go for the fetal leg yeah ha huh. it, it will come easily hmm? never never pull a hand always try to pull a leg yes uh, pulling That leg is very easy <laughs> pulling leg is very easy than the pulling a hand We keep After pulling the leg. extraction of uh, with uh, even we can do with the pat patwardhan matter. So वो ज़्यादा safe. No no no. Uh, see see if head head is inside the uterine cavity, then there is no use of modif patwardhan or modified patwardhan. That that baby will not come. Always you go for leg. Always you go for leg. If suppose hand comes, repose it, repose it, okay. and then search for leg. And then uh, extract. And then extract. It, it will come very easily. We often do in seventh body. We often do in seventh body. In Sangli, I am not doing that. I am happy with ventus and fourth. Okay, sir. Sir, are there any uh, requirement or use of tocolytics when uh, the head is uh, in the deep transverse arrest or uh, impacted head, sir? No, 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 no. No. Okay. No. Okay. Sir. See, once, 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 I have seen in deep impacted head, there was a lot of extension along with bladder injury. Okay. Along with uh, obstetrician put his finger uh, in between bladder and lower segment. Okay. And he tried to deliver that head. The head head will not come. His fingers went into that bladder. There, uh, there was major. there was a major bladder injury somehow uh, somehow we could able to deliver that baby and later on i noticed that there was um, there was a big rent in the bladder so this what happens see in initial days uh, for the, especially for the youngsters uh, but they don't know lot of things and they don't don't know how to tackle they have enthusiasm lot of enthusiasm but with the enthusiasm they don't know the maneuver and uh, sometimes they may land up into problem if they are lucky they will get someone to help them if they are unlucky uh, they have to face the problems always put some good people around you so they can help you in a ne most needed hours right sir I from your experience uh, i would like to know uh, Which is more better, vacuum or forceps extraction during cesarean section? Forceps. Forceps. Uh, what happens? What happens with vacuum? The ut uterine wall may entrap into the in between the cup and fetal and, head, yes. so it can injure. So it can injure. So you have to be very particular while applying windows. This thing is not in a forceps. If it is, if it is not applied properly, you can reapply, na? Yes. Yes. You right. can remove the forceps. You can take your time. You can reapply, and then you can extract. Hmm. So generally, uh, while, get, uh, oh, yes, madam. I mean, continue, sir. You continue. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, just ask us. I tell. Okay. No, I just want to ask. So, okay, generally during uh, cesarean section and while expanding the uterine excision, uh, do you prefer only blunt with your uh, fingers, or you take a forceps to extend the um, uh, that incision? Uterine incision. Yes. Uh, yeah. If 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 there is more fibrosis on the primary gravida, uh, not formed the lower segment, space is less. That time I that time I use scissors. Otherwise. I prefer uh, to extend with the finger. Okay. Okay, sir. Always get orientation of what situation is there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Once you know this is the situation, then uh, then and then only you can uh, do the appropriate maneuver. 
So we found that uh, uh, while well, second stage of uh, means doing a cesarean section while the second stage of uh, labor, it is more uh, traumatic, difficult. Yeah. And people prefer to do it on the first, uh, during the first stage uh, or uh, yes. when there is a less dilatation. Like, so yes. um, what exactly, how, how should we deal in second stage of labor? See, uh, in second stage of labor, extraction of fetus again is tricky. It is difficult. Lower segment is also, uh, sometime it is swollen, sometime it is very thin, sometime it is edematous. Edematous, yeah, due to the prolonged stage of labor, labor. Mm. we lost the plane into the bladder and lower segments also sometimes. It is uh, mm. always it is edematous. Identification of tissue is important. If you are confident, you can identify uh, or you, you can differentiate what is bladder, what is lower segment, what is vagina. Then it is not difficult for you to tackle anything. Anything that happens there, you can tackle. But in the second stage of labor, see, always take an incision. Uh, always take incision above uh, the uh, uterovesical fold attachment mm -hmm. or at the level of uterovesical uh, uh, peritoneal attachment. Okay. Uh, that, that will minimize, it gives more space and that will minimize the complications. If your incision, uh, 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 sir, Namaste, good evening, sir. Uh, a nice presentation. Whether you believe on the how I think, uh, I want that. Tala, I think internet, internet, uh, Kai Gurudila, I have the lady. That's it. That's it. But my brother, whether you believe on the single, single layer suture or double layer suture of the uterus, sir, sir, I am, I am a little bit old timer. I prefer to close everything what I have opened. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. I always. Uh, always I do. But you uterus, you uterus, you take I, a double layer or single layer? A double layer, double layer with peritoneal fold, everything. Okay, and, okay, and, okay. and 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 what I have operated is the section. I I have seen in the second time also incision is yeah. very good. Um, Ninety nine times uh, yeah. there are no adhesions, nothing, okay. nothing, nothing. Uh, and okay. uh, and I don't uh, always I try to not open the UV fold. Okay. Many generally, times. I it, generally I use the single blade for safe for the delivering the huh. baby instead of putting the hand, and that becomes very easy to deliver the baby head. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, okay. Just, I, I, just I have not. A, I, yeah, uh, just keep I one one, one blade that. below that, and yes, it, 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 it works as a, a vectis. Yeah, 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 like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, thank yes, you. Yes, yes. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 Then let us know, sir, uh, whether uh, uh, you take an interlocking or locking. <laughs> uh, see, if, if there is... <laughs> talking if, about see. the switching, why not this question? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I, I can't. I can't. What Bada. I feel is that tissue is a big deal. I don't want to talk about it. Locking mm -hmm. means just to strangulate the tissue. Once you strangulate it, how can it heal? Na? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so if, 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 if there is excess, if there is excess bleeding, abnormal vessels are there, that time, that time you can go for interlocking. If, yeah. if there is no bleeding, you can, uh, incision is nice. Then you can, uh, you can take a running, you know, uh, non-interlocking. Running suture, just simple suture. Yes. But instead yes. of university, well, I think okay, the healing you... is the main thing. Uh, we should uh, always uh, think about the healing of the tissue. Yeah. Always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Though we yeah. are thinking about the hemostasis and all these things, but the second uh, uh, means uh, part is that healing of mm -hmm. the tissue is also very important. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I just I don't want to strangulate the tissue. Right. What yeah. uh, youngsters or uh, what they do, they try to strangulate it. They try to make more and yeah, more tight. More pressure more, on that. Yeah. More pressure on that. Just they make it more and more tight. And uh, in, in the second C-section, the scar mm -hmm. is big, scar is thin. Sometimes there because is... Because the ischemia of that region, uh, particularly yeah, yeah. when we see after yeah, 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 yeah. a few years. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And because it means it deal with uh, some uh, of the patient that comes with the stamosil and all what I have seen in my practice. So I think mm -hmm. it is always better to uh, think both of the part. 
yeah yeah, yeah. hemostasis also and well uh, healing also yeah see we okay. have to be, see what i what i trying to say we have to be very particular about choosing suture material taking mm-hmm. knots uh, deciding number of knots these things are very important if i am putting knot 6 7 8 on y acryl what will happen there is no, chances of infection it is not advisable at all see if you take more knots the tensile strength of suture become weaker and weaker the more knots it gives more and more space for bacteria to harbor there there are a lot of chances of infection mm-hmm. uh, in it gives problem in the absorption of suture so take adequate knots if the three knots are advised for uh, by acryl then only take three nothing will happen if you more but take six and seven definitely it will create some problem okay so you have to be very choosy while selecting your suture material see suture material has 20 uh, near about 18 qualities suture material should have 18 qualities out of 18 qualities eight qualities are of the physical appearance of the suture if you if you use monofilament suture the absorbing pro- property of suture is more uh, uh, fluid retaining uh, property of tissue is more everything is more we have to think in that way also also sir can you explain about suturing in inverted t incision let's see first take uh, the tail of t and then go for uh, as usual okay and okay, write down sir. write down in your notes in your discharge summary ki i have taken inverted t inverted t yes yes but yeah yes. if if that patient right. goes to another person yes, uh, he, hmm. he can decide yes. what to do hmm. yeah sir what are the conditions where we have to opt for a fundal incision sir where do we get such conditions if so what are the indications sir now for the for the fundal incision or yes, sir, upper fundal. segment Ah, completely fundal ha completely fundal incision uh, madam i have no idea honestly okay sir and what precautions for the next cesarean section we have to take sir is it very fragile or very friable the scar tenderness would be more compared to the lower segment or any extra precautions for this sir uh, with fundal incision yes yeah, sir no no sir. i don't okay. know yeah okay sir i have no idea madam okay sir okay sir okay sir sir what are the precautions to deliver uh, the head during the preterm delivery sir when we see that there is a low birth weight and uh, yeah, yeah 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 <laughs> uh, i i have i have seen for second video second video in that in that second video let the like let, let allow the liker to drain first thing okay sir Wait. open up open up that uterine incision properly first okay, let the liker drain out let the head come into the incision see for the flexion and then put your fingers in between fetal head and then go for fundal pressure this is okay. the key or or if you are if your if you, if the fetal head is very much deflexed let's forget about the head go okay. for fetal leg and make the internal portal inversion okay, or internal just portal. said madam yeah 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 okay 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 sir uh, do we have to advocate for a longitudinal incision incision for a preterm sir or uh, lower segment transverse incision would do sir <laughs> hello sir <laughs> hello sir i hello, think sir, it's I... network problem again yeah maybe ma'am yeah just message him once yes ma'am i'll again call him
हां हॅलो मॅडम हां हॅलो सर या वी कॅन हियर यू यस सर यू आर ऑडिबल नाउ सर पा पाडन मॅडम दैट्स ओके सर कुछ क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन पूछा था दैट्स ओके सर दैट्स ओके सर सिंधू मॅडम हां सर आई जस्ट वांट टू नो सर रिपीट द क्वेश्चन फॉर सर ना या मॅम या मॅम या मॅम जस्ट वांटेड टू नो सर लाइक इन प्री टर्म डिलीवरी सर शुड वी ऑप्ट फॉर अ a vertical incision or a uh, same as we do for all the cases the transverse and lower segment would uh, be done yeah yeah lower segment okay sir no need of a vertical one sir no no need of vertical vertical okay. incision on abdomen on on, on uterus 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 on, on, both. Sir. on, on the uterus no, no 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 need to take any longitudinal incision okay okay it, it can cause more and more bleeding okay sir Mm-hmm. If, if the placenta suppose uh, underlying that uh, upper part of the uterus, then you can incise the placenta. Okay, they you can uh, injure the placenta, and the, uh, again you may end up into problem. So always nice. try to make it lower segment and okay. transfer. Hmm. Okay, sir. fine, sir. Sir, does uh, the effacement of the cervix pose uh, any problems, or does it have a role? to decide the site of uh, uterine incision sir effacement of cervix effacement of cervix yes sir depending yeah, yeah. on okay yeah, yeah 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 again if if the cervix is less effaced then the lower segment is less formed it is thick uh, okay, it can sir. bleed more if the uh-huh. effacement is good lower segment is well formed your caesar is going to be very easy in right sir a well formed lower segment of uterus Yeah, okay. and how to do with the legs abducted position or the frog position? We can say means uh, <laughs> the wage vertex. How should we lift up that? Uh, what, madam? In the yeah, abducted yeah, yeah. legs abducted position or a frog position, we can say. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in that case, means uh, uh, how should we lift uh, that wage vertex? in c section na no? yeah yeah during c section yeah. to reduce the injury to that fetal head and the uterus mm-hmm. fetal head after you are talking about after coming head or, um, or just uh, head first delivery no i i mean to say means when uh, there are uh, uh, means uh, we are quite impacted head inside that and uh, we have that uh, extended a legs so at that yeah, okay, time okay 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 you see you go for modified patwar then mm-hmm. okay. yeah yes and that is easy i think yeah uh, yeah that that uh, yeah modified yeah. patwar then is uh, becomes easy that time yeah 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 100% that is going to be easy. okay okay i think uh, i think we should conclude yeah okay sir yeah questions sir yeah sindhu ma'am do you find any questions yeah concluded ma'am concluded the questions from my, my side ma'am and uh, the audience also pooja ma'am if any no no ma'am any no questions are there from no the audience if any questions you can ask now the audience yeah finds like they have found their solutions ma'am yeah, <laughs> yeah. yes yes yeah. uh, all all yes. audience yes. are very yes. experienced yes. uh so uh, they have i think they have no any questions yes sir yes sir yeah mamma uh, can all we proceed we are, all are doing uh, obstetric work na yes, yes sir we yes, all sir. Are, yeah yeah we are all are doing so yes sir ha. can we proceed to the vote of thanks session ma'am if yeah. Yeah. yes ma'am yeah mamma a last question sir which forceps should be used the long blade one or the key land forceps there is a last question in the chat Pi- box piper right? piper forceps is advisable okay 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 sir. for extraction of fetal head during c section but if you have uh-huh. key land if you have release yes you can you can go with any forceps okay sir red land or key is also yeah. fine yeah. thank you yes. sir yeah. not that, necessary to have no uh, not necessary to have piper forceps because that forceps uh, don't have pelvic curve okay and yes, we sir. don't need pelvic curve in cesarean section so right sir uh, uh, the outlet uh, piper forcep is more appropriate if you don't have okay. you can use the rickley or killand okay sir 
Thank you, sir. With that question, we conclude the question answer session and we move on to the vote of thanks session with your permission of our dignitaries. Yeah, so if any questions will be there, na, the uh, participants, they can ask on the YouTube also. They can put the yes, questions over there. We will definitely answer them. Yes, ma'am. Later to that, it will be catered. Yeah. It will be answered to the participants for sure. Thank you. Thank you so much. So with this, we conclude the third national webinar by Nima OBG Society Central, which was on the topic delivering fetal head during C-section and troubleshoots by our reverend Dr. Shailendra, sir. I now take the privilege in presenting the vote of thanks on behalf of Nima OBGY Society Central. I immensely and wholeheartedly thank our chief guest and our guest speaker, Dr. Shailendra Kataudkar, sir, for his such an interesting and a brainstorming session. And it is our fortune to associate with you, sir, and move ahead in the light of your guidance. Thank you, sir, for your precious time and valuable presentation. Thank you once again. Thank I now thank, thank the dignity. Thank you, sir. I now thank the dignitaries of the uh, NIMO uh, Central, President, Secretary, and the Treasurer, and also the dignitaries of OBGY Society, the, our President, Dr. Kamini Dhiman, Madam, our Secretary, our very lively Dr. Priyanka Nakade, Madam, who is an all-time inspiration for all of us anytime and any date for that matter. Thank you, ma'am. I also thank Vishnu Bhavani, sir, who guides us in all aspects. And an overwhelming thank you to all the dignitaries here. I thank Dr. Archana, ma'am, uh, who with her valued coordination, we could conduct this uh, webinar today. A heartfelt thanks to Dr. Girish Daga, sir, and for his team for the technical support. And I thank all of them who directly and indirectly were a reason and an instrumental to make this webinar a grand success. I thank my co-host, my dear co-host, Dr. Uh, Pooja Kohli, ma'am, for initiating and anchoring this webinar in such a great manner. Now, I thank all of you, my friends, who rendered your time and enthusiasm for this webinar to make this a grand success and seeking such same webinar, successful webinars in the days to come. Again, thank you, one and all. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Dr. you all. Thank, thank you, madam. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much.